We've got liberty lovers upholding the First Amendment, phase two of the Stop Obama Dictator Contest entries. We're going to show you a whole bunch of those entries when we go to break here in a couple minutes. They're great. They're going to keep rolling in, and we've extended the deadline to Friday, July 13th at midnight. So send your contest entries in, contest at Infowars.com, but don't give up yet. We want to see the competition get worse and worse. No, we're not uh, asking anyone to break any laws, uh, but at the same time, the hour's late. And we really need to get the word out about this. Uh, even more incredible, probably should have been our breaking story, 60 days in prison and a $12,000 fine for hosting a Bible study in someone's home? Well, it happened in Phoenix. It's also happened across the country, by the way. Uh, Mike Salmon was found guilty of 67 code violations for having 15 to 20 people meet at his house, apparently on a regular basis, to read the Bible and discuss it and talk about religious things. Well, they're acting as if he's running a church without having the proper codes, without having the proper clearances, the proper city official documents. And yet Congress shall make no law regarding an establishment of religion or the practice thereof. People have a right to assemble for any reason. And somehow there's these code enforcements being implemented on the local, county, and city level. It's absurd. The Constitution applies top-down in terms of the Bill of Rights. Yes, there's a separation of powers for the federal government, but the 14th Amendment has been applied to protect those Bill of Rights for everyone. And so it's not a two-way street. You have a right to freedom of religion, but they've circumvented that right by using code enforcement to shut down what really is a right into some kind of privilege. They don't care if you watch football games, have 10, 20, 50 people over. You can even have block parties in many cases in many official areas in little cities, but you can't have a backyard Bible study. And they say he just kept doing it, so he's going to jail for two months, and they're seeking two and a half years of jail time because of his obstinance, because of his continuing the whole Bible studies in the, in the face of these grave code violations. Well, it's all backwards. These codes are really shutting down independence of all kinds. They're shutting down people for growing gardens, shutting down people trying to get off the grids. That's in this article by Michael Snyder of the American Dream. They get into this whole thing of how codes are taking over our way of life. And it's, it's really time to rein it in. If this doesn't hit home, if this isn't one of those first they came for the Christians, then they came for everybody, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just over the top. Now you can't basically read in your own home, not with more than three people, they say. A gathering of more than three people. I, I, it's hard to believe, but there it is. There it is on page.